Hello my friends, today with the uh, continue the logic gates, so last time we talked about the basic logic gates, the three logic gates which are AND, NOT, OR, and today we are going to talk about the, the extension of logic gates, so I told you last time by combining two or more logic gates or make some change in the basic logic gates you can implement the uh, advanced logic gates so the advanced logic gates here for example the NOR so you can see here OR which is the basic and we implement the NOR which is the advanced one NOR it is the, the negative logic of OR so every time you can see OR is low or logic zero, you will find the NOR and logic high. And in same thing, if you found logic high for OR, so you will find low for NOR. So one question here uh, might someone of you ask me, which is why we need to implement the NOR? Yeah, that's a good question. And please ask me every time for every gate. Uh, of logic we talk about ask me why you need this one so imagine uh, you have a motor and your client comes to you and ask you hey uh, please uh, my PVC programmer I need you to uh, implement something like uh, if I have uh, uh, the, my motor I want to shut down my motor in one of two conditions like if I have input E and input B one of them is on at least uh, one of them is on so I need to shut down immediately my motor uh, for example I have uh, like uh, a temperature and uh, I have also the current of the motor so if the current become high or the temperature become high one of them is high so I need to shut down the motor okay so in this case you can imagine you need directly to implement an OR gate so, and here is the implementation of the OR gate like in two ways the first way is to have the uh, instead of have uh, two parallel we have uh, the negative but in series okay so and something here if you want to implement the uh, OR gate then you can like implement two parallel branch like this but negate the output so let's implement this in the simulator. So I'm going to the simulator. You can like example here. You can uh, change a little bit in this logic. So let's see if this project and we uh, see that the project and see so this is project four. We come back to this project four uh, as of uh, one of the advanced logic key. So uh, imagine here you know, now gets same like this logic power same like this logic so so this motor one motor two and both should get same output because this is two uh, nothing but two ways to implement the NOR gate and if you see here in the screen I implemented in the uh, implementation here so what I want to do is just write in the new modify program that implements the NOR gate and directly I can run and see so here if both of them is uh, both of them like uh, zero you will find your output which is the NOR output it will be on or if you have like a list one of them is on, so the output will be on, but if the temperature goes high or if the motor itself goes uh, high, like this says the motor current goes high, so your client told you that in this condition, just shut down your motor, uh, and that is for the motor, okay? So let's move back to our slides yeah. so we talk about the other one which is the uh, XOR so XOR is like you can see here uh, from this uh, you can see it's both of them input uh, E and input B uh, both of them are equal in the same state like E is 0, B is 0 so the output will be 0 
Yeah. So if a and a and b both of them are equal still like half, so the output is zero. And the output will come uh, to be true if they are different. Like one of them is uh, zero and the other is high, or one of them is high, the other is zero. So if they are different, so the output will be high. Question one of you guys ask me why we need to implement this thing. Well, same, same scenario like if your client comes to you and say, Hey, yeah, my programmer, I, I want to implement the logic. Like uh, if uh, uh, both uh, those two sensors uh, give a signal high or uh, give a signal low in same time, like they are same logic, so I need to. Um, uh, I need to turn off my uh, motor uh, or if they are different like one of them is the opposite of the other so I will uh, turn on my output so this is exactly what we talk about the XOR so XOR here is the logic gate of XOR which is uh, A and it with the negative of B or negative A and it with B or again the same so you can implement it very easily like here we just stop this thing and we try to implement another branch like this branch and say uh, uh, negative b and this one is like this but this one shall like this one will be hard so this one is switch switch a and this one is switch b switch b so if one is, is low, one is high, one is uh, low, one is high and one is low, they are indifferent, so this is why we do it all. So let's check our logic. And so we need to upload the new program like this and testing our logic like this. So you can see here if they are, uh, they are like, uh, like uh, they are uh, in the logic uh, and they are different. Uh, in, in state, actually, like one of them is high. Let me make sure this one is zero and this one is zero. So that means, so if they are same logic, okay, both of them zero, so the, the motor will shut down, okay. But if both of them like high and this one is zero, that means like one is this or the other, so this is. The output. So for later showing this uh, uh, table of the output, so this will be the uh, tags of uh, of our project. So this is what they see. Oh no, I don't need any clock, so I need to just like uh, stop my simulator and see where's the table of my tags. So this is my DVC tag, and this is all uh, table here. So I just uh, I will run the program again. Okay, I'm running simulator here. So you can see here, uh, this, this is my output stroke. When the output is and this, uh, I need to show uh, the state of this uh, thing. So, uh, if this thing is like uh, uh, this thing and this is the uh, logic, and this, the logic is high, and you can see here. You can see here also uh, one of them is the reverse of the, the other, so it gives you the, the last one is the uh, XNOR. XNOR typically is a reverse of XOR, so if both of them are uh, same logic, A and B high, or A and B both of them is low, so the output is uh, high, that means the outputs uh, will turn it on when they are similar logic. And turn it off when they are different projects. So here, we just do the need the same. We just need to uh, like make them like both are high or both are low, maybe, and uh, upload the new logic or the controller like this and implement my uh, stuff here and run my uh, logic. So we see here for sure because both of them are, are uh, low so if one different than the other so this one let's make sure both of them like this one is zero and this one is zero so if both of them like this so it will give high 
but if they are different, like one is zero and the other is one, then the object is alone. And th this is my place to the implementation of the XOR. Thank you for watching, and hope to see you in the next session. Bye-bye.